in the um, Blackboard site. Uh, that might take me a day to do uh, because of the way in which I'm recording it. But just a heads up, I am recording. Uh, and I am only recording uh, this screen right here. And um, I've got a little picture of myself at the top so you can see me speaking. Uh, as far as I know, I'm not recording anything else because I am just recording it on my computer now for later upload. Okay, we're going to finish uh, lecture one, uh, lecture outline one. Um, we're going to finish or start and finish lecture outline two. Uh, and uh, then, and with breaks in between, um, I think, I think it'll work out for timing for there to be breaks in there. Um, then we will start talking about how class works uh, in general. I'll answer any questions you have about how the class works. Um, watch this. There, I'll answer any questions about how the class works. Um, we'll talk about how lab will work and some updates to the lab due to the fact that the lab kits are going to be delayed by at least a week and we still have to figure out just how long they'll be delayed. Um, yeah, uh, and I'll even talk about a little bit about uh, what I think exams are going to be like this semester too. So uh, any questions before I get started? Um, could you talk about the lab kit real quick for me? So I will talk about the lab. I, the only thing I'll say right now is that uh, I have posted all the experiments on in the Blackboard um, site uh, under course contents at the bottom under lab manual, and that uh, some of the experiments will be done at home, and some of the experiments and the ones we're going to start with are going to be uh, what are called workshops, meaning that there will be no chemistry involved. We'll just be watching some videos and answering some questions. Um, and I guess I'll say one other thing, which is uh, their attendance is required at lab. And so Thursdays will be lab day. Um, so attendance is required Thursday, although I'll get more specific about that. And then on um, starting next week on Tuesdays, um, we'll talk about, so the 3 to 4 p.m. time for recitation will be required as well. And uh, I'll get more specific later, but... Um, because uh, there's a lot to say about it and how this class runs, and uh, there's a lot of work to do, uh, and I want to make sure that you understand what everything is and that you feel like you can ask me any questions you want uh, about how the class runs or about uh, homework or anything. So anyway, that's a little bit, but we'll say a lot more. Uh, any other questions? Oh, but I didn't hear you before. Is this recorded or not? This is recorded, yes. Uh, and uh, this is recorded, and uh, in Blackboard, there's a uh, notification in the Blackboard Ultra Collaborate. There's a, some information about how this recording will only be used for this course. Um, and so I will record it. The best way to record it for me is to record it on my computer and then post it, because then I can guarantee <laughs> that the video and the audio will both be there in the configuration that I want. That's why we're in Zoom today. Um, so, hold on. And let me just make sure I'm recording. Yes, I am recording, good. Uh, good. All right, there we go. I hope I'm recording. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm recording. All right, so where were we? Uh, we Okay, so I did the first 37 pages of this okay, lecture. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Um, so for the recording from the last class, since it's not available, or you, I saw you sending an email saying you're going to post on um, lecture notes one from that class. Sure, yes. Yes, I already um, did. Where can I find it? So if you go to course contents folder in Blackboard, and then uh, I think I said it was week... so where you found the lecture outline one handout, which is in the week one of course contents. Uh, you'll also find the, um, I turned my notes from Tuesday into a PDF. So does that help? Yes, thank you, I found it. Great. Uh, yes, and um, uh, by Sunday, I hope to have a um, a video of that lecture posted. Okay, okay. 
So, but, uh, and again, fingers crossed that that one works. Um, so then let's get to the lecture notes. Uh, and there we go. Uh, for the lecture notes, um, we were working on what are called empirical formula problems. And for empirical formula problems, uh, uh, the previous ones we worked on, you were given percentages of, say, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and those were equal to the grams of those substances, or you found the grams of each of the elements. This is what's called a hydrate problem. And uh, I'll read it over it a little bit. A mineral contains a hydrate of nickel 2 sulfate with an unknown number of waters of hydration. And the way you write the formula for nickel 2 sulfate is dot XH2O. And uh, these, X, these H2Os with some number where X is, and X is currently unknown, uh, are called the waters of hydration. Okay. If a 0.400 gram sample of uh, the mineral is heated to constant weight over a Bunsen burner, its mass decreases to 0.296 grams. What is the value of X for this hydrate? So uh, this is another version of a uh, empirical formula problem. And uh, let's pull some information out of this. We have 0 0.400 grams of nickel sulf 2 sulfate uh, hydrate. And when we heat it, its mass decreases to 0 0.296 grams. So I'm going to go to red here. So heat um, evaporates or drives off all of the waters of hydration. So heat drives off the waters of hydration. So the 0 0.296 grams are just the nickel 2 sulfate. And then by subtraction, we can find the grams of H2O. And we should get 0, uh, 0 0.104 grams of H2O. Okay. And now that we have grams of each of these, it's sort of like the problems we ended up with last time. Take grams, turn them into moles, find a small whole number ratio between them, and uh, that will help us find x. Uh, and we do this a lot. Like almost any time you have grams and you know the formula of something in this class, you're turning it into moles and you need a molar mass. Uh, our molar mass in this case, so um, I've got my periodic table right here. We have one nickel, uh, sulfur, and four oxygens, so we'll put those together. So 58.69 plus 32.07 plus four times 16. I get 154.76 as the molar mass of nickel 2 sulfate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my grams of nickel 2 sulfate I'm going to set it up with a unit conversion factor for the molar mass using the molar mass of 154.76 grams per mole and that's going to be grams of nickel sulfate on the bottom so that the grams cancel out and one mole nickel sulfate on top. Okay. And let's go ahead and do this. So 0 0.296 grams divided by 154.76. I get 0 0.00191. And those units will be moles of nickel sulfate. Or nickel two, 2 sulfate, I should say. All right. Now let's do the same thing for the H2O, grams to moles. Uh, 
and uh, I happen to have memorized, because I do it a lot, that the molar mass of H2O is 18.02 grams for one molar. Let's multiply this out. 0.104 divided by 18.02. 0 